Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to do a tutorial of how you can create custom word cloud designs. And we're going to use Creative Fabrica's word cloud tool, which they actually call a shape cloud tool, which honestly, I don't know what makes more sense word cloud or shape cloud, because we're using custom words to make a custom shape. And it does kind of resemble a cloud. I don't know. Either way, that's not the important part. Uh, I'm going to show you how we can use Creative Fabrica create these designs very quickly, very easily. However hard you think it is to make these, I promise you it's easier. So why don't we get started? Quick reminder, take advantage of the free weekly print on demand giveaway. You can find a link at the top of the description. Two winners are going to be randomly selected and announced this Sunday, and they're going to receive a license to flying research, print on demand research tools, automate POD, print on demand design creation automation, all American graphics, premium pre-made graphics for your designs and bubble scout, the only Redbubble niche research and validation tool. Again, you can find a link at the top of the description. So if you go to your favorite uh, e-commerce website, Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, do a search for word cloud. Now, I don't know if it's one word or two. I'm assuming the algorithm will figure it out, uh, but you're going to see a bunch of results. And what's cool is that these are easy to make, but they do take a little bit of effort to make. It's not something that you can just kind of automate and scale out. Uh, really quickly. So if you are in like a low tier of merch by Amazon, or if you are like me and you don't consider yourself to be a great graphic designer, but you want to make quality designs that not everybody else is doing, this is a great way of doing it. Okay. So here I just did a search on Amazon. You can see they've got like a tree. They've got a uh, ninja kicking through the air. You've got the word dad spelled out. Uh, that's like a square. That's interesting. You've got a tennis ball, a heart, a chess piece, you got the words, uh, the letters P A, uh, an apple. You've got uh, what is that like rice and and dumplings or something? No, it's a drum line. Okay, drums. So yeah, a lot of different ways you can do this. I'm gonna be using Creative Fabrica, which by the way, there's a special where you can join for one dollar. I'll put a link at the top of the description. Also, I did a separate video on Creative Fabrica. If you missed that, I basically outlined like everything that I found. Uh, in there that I thought would be relevant to print on demand sellers. I'll put a link to that video right here in case you want to check that out. Uh, but we're going to use Creative Fabrica. Once you are signed in, you can go to tools and then click shape cloud. Okay. Now this is the default. So it already has one created for you when you first view the tool and it looks like it's a face uh, looking to the left. And the first thing you'll notice is like up there in the top left corner, um, you can see the, the words that it is using for us by default, shape cloud, crafters, design, fabrica, creative. I guess I read them backwards. Creative fabrica, design, crafter, shape cloud. Okay. So you can kind of see uh, the baseline of how this works. Now, the first thing I wanted to demo for you guys is you can change the shapes to a custom shape very quickly, very easily. They have a bunch of pre-built shapes into the app. So... Uh, you can see here that I clicked the star instead of the face. The face is what was selected by default. I click the star and then you click the green button that says update changes. Now that green button won't be there unless you make a change. And instead of it just updating automatically, you have to hit update changes. Okay. But after you do that, boom, you've got a star just like that. All right. Now you can play around with all of the other pre-built uh, shapes. So in this case, I got like a plus sign or, you know, for medical uh, music sign music sign. I don't know what that's actually called. I feel like I used to, and now I do not know. So I'm just going to call it the music sign. Uh, you've got like the map pin, you've got the, uh, sun behind me. So really quick, really easily make a bunch of different shapes. And of course I know somebody's wondering like, well, what about a custom shape? Yes, you can do that too. So underneath where it says, select your shape, there's an upload shape button. Go ahead and click that. It'll pop up this, uh, overlay thing. Now you can only upload SVG format images. So these are, uh, this is a vector format, really popular on the web. So click to select your file. If you need an SVG, well, you have a subscription to Creative Fabrica for $1. Hopefully you save some money and use the link in the description and go ahead and just find an SVG file. Like you can type in, I think to find this one, I typed in teddy bear SVG. Okay. So find your, uh, image and up, go ahead and upload the SVG file. And then boom, it fills it out for you with the words. And you can kind of see the outline there of the ears, the face, the arms and the legs there of the teddy bear. Now I also played around with it and I found a unicorn 
from a graphic design pack that if you join any of my print on demand courses, you get for free. Uh, this one was the unicorn pack that is included for free with anybody that joins my print on demand courses. Just a quick side note there, uh, link in the description if you want to find out more. Anyways, found a unicorn there and uh, it came with like various formats. So SVG was one of them. I uploaded the unicorn pretty cool, but check this out. Why don't we go and we fill it up with words related to unicorns? Right? That, that would be cool. So the first thing that popped into my mind was, all right, I'm going to use the Redbubble tag generator that Merch Titans, my buddies at Merch Titans, make available completely free, zero dollars. All right? So I'll put a link to that in the description as well so that you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, so I come over here to the Merch Titans Redbubble tag generator, type in the word unicorn, and then click get tags. Boom. After a couple seconds, it tells us the most commonly associated words with unicorn. All right, so I go ahead, I evaluate this list, pull out a couple that I want to use. So in this case, I used unicorn, cute, rainbow, fantasy, colorful, magical, glitter. So I picked seven that I liked. Uh, the custom words is the first thing in the top left corner. So the first thing I would do is I would X out all of the pre-built words, the creative Fabrica words, and then add your own words one at a time. Then you click update and boom, all of a sudden I've got the same unicorn shape but now it's filled with the words that we grabbed from the tag generator. So how cool is that? <clears throat> you can also change the font family and the color of the text very easily. So underneath select your font, there's a bunch of preloaded custom fonts. In this uh, left side example, I used a font called cookie. And what's cool is look at how they made like a really big vertical word mixed in with all the like horizontal text. I think that looks really cool. Uh, and then also on the right hand side, indie flower. Okay, now there's tons of options. Those are just two that I selected. In addition to that, you can change the color or the color schemes. So by default, it's set to single color, but you can switch that over to schema, which is what I did over here on the right hand side. And I think that's probably what most people would use. And you can see here how some of them came out using the pre-built color schemes. So really cool guys. I mean, like I'm excited about where uh, I'm going to take this with various different designs. It's just packed with potential and it's so easy to use. Like. I know I didn't actually run it in this video. Uh, I'm just showing screenshots so far, but man, like I'm telling you, you can just click the button, click update, give it three seconds and you've got your new design. Like it is that simple. Now for the grand finale, those of you guys that are still with me, wait till you see this. I'm going to blow your mind here. Okay. So I went ahead and I set the word to just one word. I said, t-shirt, that's going to be the word. And this actually isn't my idea. It's my girlfriend, Marielle's. When I told her I was going to make this video, she told me I should do this. So you set the word to t-shirt, grab an SVG of a t-shirt. So now you've got a design, a word cloud design of a t-shirt using the word t-shirt uploaded to a t-shirt. It's like inception for print on demand. My mind is blown. So that's the t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Uh, and yes, I did order one for myself because I couldn't help myself uh, to create true real world inception. I'm going to be a t-shirt seller that talks about selling t-shirts on YouTube, wearing a t-shirt of a t-shirt made with the word t-shirt. And my mind is just absolutely blown. Um, so guys, yeah, creative Fabrica, if you use the link in the description, it's only $1 to join initially. And then I think it goes back to, to the regular price, but double check me on that. Um, anyways, I'll put that link at the top of the description. I do believe you need a subscription in order to access this tool. I honestly should have probably checked before I recorded this video, but I'm assuming it's not free. Um, really cool tool. And if you're using it, you should make your money back. Uh, hopefully. All right, guys, as I wrap the video up down there in the description, I have a eight day print on demand mini course completely free. You can take advantage of just need your email address. I've got a print on demand Facebook group. I'd love to have you there. And of course, I've got a full print on demand course walking you through how I make six figure sales every single year. If you'd like to find out more, go ahead and click that link. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.